Welcome back guys to our interview sessions with the students of 2022 Pass Out Batch. Today we have with us uh, Ms. Guru Monica who has just been selected in Hexaware with a package of 6 LPA. Welcome Monica. Thank you sir. Welcome again you sir. Thank you. So first of all uh, we want to congratulate you on being selected to Hexaware with the package of 6 LPA. Thank you sir. So uh, how are you feeling today? like being selected in a company and then uh, sharing your experience with your junior. So what is your feeling today? Firstly, I'm thankful for this opportunity to share with you because I'm a fresher student looking for a better opportunity. Through talent battle, I gained knowledge how to prepare for the placements and I started for the placement applying companies by my luck and I started working hard and I got selected for the Xavier, which is of package 6 LPA. Great, great, great. We are, we are more than happy than you. So our students yes, getting placed at the uh, like big MNCs, we are, we stay motivated by this news. So let us start. Yes. Today we'll be talking about your basic, like first round of online test. And after it, we'll be talking about your interview session as well. So just discuss everything in brief with us so that this could help our 2023 uh, batch coming up and they could get a slight overview like what is going to happen if we sit for the Hexaware. Sure sir, the Hexaware uh, is almost like every company, the test pattern. Coming to the first round, it is of like aptitude test. Basically it consists of quants, logical, verbal and domain based questions. Each quants, logical and verbal will be basically of half an hour time. And the tech based questions will be related to domain. Basically, it consists of C data structures on some OOPS concept questions, which will be around 45 minutes. Uh, difficulty medium is almost it is of medium level. And once we clear this first round, we are invited to second round, which is of communication test. There we are going to be tested okay. on writing, listening and reading skills. We need to discuss everything uh, in uh, a little bit detail, right? So nice. coming to the first round, so you mentioned there were three to four sections, right? The quant section, yes. the logical, and the domain-based uh, section. Okay. Yes, so sir. What was basically asked in the quant section, like uh, which in topics? Quant section, in quant section, mainly focused on percentages, time and sun ages, LCM and HCF concepts, ratio of proportions and uh, some speed distance and also on probability graphing these were the main topics that were asked in quants part coming to logical they're asked mainly decoding and they given some abstract pictures and these were the main things focused in the uh, logical reasoning on so verbal was, reasoning uh, there, there was like sectional timing for the test or the test was uh, ah, sectional to... timing. There was different timing for the uh, quants, logical, and verbal. There is around 30 minutes of time. Coming to domain based uh, section, it was around 45 minutes and it also consists of 45 questions. So, all the questions were like uh, for the whole test, the questions were in the MCQ format or different, different in formats? MC... All sections are in MCQ format and difficulty level is also of medium level. Okay, so it was like a medium level test. Ah, yes, sir. Then coming to like a uh, sectional weightage, like it was being test, like it was elimination rounds or uh, you have, you can attempt all the sections. We need to attempt all the sections. Every section contains equal weightage. Okay. Okay. So when did you got your results for the first round? After soon, after 10 days, I got my first round result. Then they invite you for the second round, which is communication round. They mainly focus on general verbal ability, grammar, and listening and reading skills. This is also an eliminationary round, which is around 45 minutes. Okay, so like it was one-to-one -one interview session with the, the person from the company, or it was like a computer-based test? No, 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 it test. is computer-based test. Okay, okay, so communication round was there, uh, which was a computer-based test. Ah, any, yes, sir. Any topics or any questions you remember out of that test, like which could help our juniors? Basic, basically, it will, it will be like they are giving uh, some HR basic questions 
and they will ask us to record within a few minutes and some they are giving some story lines they ask us to read the lines okay 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 this this was the main areas they focused in the communication round sir okay so after communication round like uh, when did you got the results for that soon after two days i got the result that i am selected for technical interview okay the technical interview almost lasted for 45 minutes the mainly asked about us projects and c python and some oops concept okay so how did projects help you on in cracking the interview round actually at the time of exa where technical interview still my academic project is not yet started but i have done a mini project in the talent battle while learning the python course this helped me a lot Okay. basically every company uh, are searching or they are searching for the people who done a projects right right if right if you have a project in our resume it will add a plus points compared to other students okay so uh, like uh, how did you registered for the test basically like it was a four lpa round right so huh. how did you came to know that that you are going to be selected for the six lpa Firstly, after clearing all this technical interview and HR interview, the, within a one week, I got a result that I was selected for four LPA package. Okay. Soon after two days, they intimated us that you are a top performer of our four LPA package, so that we would like to conduct you another round, which is for six LPA package. Okay. They so earlier it coding. was decided. Earlier it was decided to keep the packages four LPA for the candidates. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But after you received your uh, like final results after the HR, and you got selected as a top performer, and then you were shifted to a six LPA package, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So was there any other interview conducted in between for the six LPA package, or you were generally got into six LPA? No, sir. Actually, after getting this mail, there was a one coding round question, which is of two questions. One is like logic based question. Another one is related to data structures. Okay. Those students who wrote two questions correctly, they got start listed for the another interview round, which is called manager committee round. Okay. There they tested our both technical and managerial and HR skills. Those who satisfied the company's requirements, they short listed and they gave the six lakh LPA package. Okay. Okay. So, uh, any type of questions you remember of the uh, managerial round? Yes, sir. Basically, they ask some basic HR questions, introduction, and about your relocation, and they asked mainly some OOPS concepts, and mainly they focused on my mini projects, sir. They asked what the algorithms you took on, and how you made different compared to other projects. Okay, This was the main things they focused in my interview. Okay. So, any basic things you remember, like any basic topics you remember? Uh, which helped you the most throughout the interview basically firstly they are looking more interested on oops concepts and some data structure medium level knowledge they are looking so since i am very good in that i got easily sir okay okay nice so when did you came to know that uh, now you are selected for the 6 lpa like how many days the... it took okay on uh, my interview how happened in the morning session the same day evening i got the results sir. okay the same day you got the results so how what was yes, your feeling sir. after getting the results it's really like a big surprise i can't express my happiness that because as a fresher getting very high package is very rare since i got from off can off campus offer so i am very happy sir okay so you applied this drive through off campus yes sir so the last one thing like uh, what was your strategy in uh, like throughout the uh, first round and the interviews what was your strategy in your mind that helped you cracking the same before for my main strategy is sir, sir checking the syllabus and most repeated questions and i prepared according to that mainly i focused to practice the questions on time means i used it to keep the time for well practicing the question to be solved in 30 seconds 20 seconds this helped me to crack in first rounds coming to interview i basically prepared some all basic knowledge on oops concept data structures 
and whatever the skills I mentioned in resume, I thoroughly prepared and kept, sir. This okay. helped me a lot to crack all these rounds. Okay. So any advice you want to give to our juniors and the upcoming best, those who want to sit for hex away, like what should be the key points they should not? Yes, sir. Firstly, I would like to advise that they should know the all the what are the things they are repetitive lasting like what are the topics they are continuously focusing on what are the main weightage they need to check and they need to practice more questions on that and be strong on whatever skills they know they are not looking how many languages you know they are looking how much you are proficient in one language also and they are looking if you are good in one oops language then it's fine sir Okay. And we like doing a mini projects or internship is a more plus point. Okay. So any other thing you want to mention here? I want to mention that who or like who don't know how to prepare and who has no idea how to start and where to end. I will really like, like, uh, I would like to suggest them to use the platform like your talent battle, which they are really providing a good like uh, planning and good structure and good knowledge on everything what we require in placements. They're not only focusing in one company, it offers like various companies. So I really like to advise them. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Monica, for suggesting your juniors about talent battle. Cause a talent you, battle, it's our practice to give our students the best. So yes, sir. That's why our students are getting placed in such a big MNCs. And one thing I need to mention that, sir, uh, comparing to other platforms, whatever we have, Talent Battles have, offers reasonable prices, sir. That is the main thing. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you, thank you, Monica, for being here today and guiding your juniors, basically, to how to come up and uh, being selected at the Hexavia with the great package. So once again, I thank you from the team Talent Battle for joining the session and advising your juniors and sharing your valuable experience with us. Thank you, sir. Really, it was a great session. Hoping my experience would help some of the juniors. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, Monica. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.